Hello friends. Today we are going to find the resistance of a given resistor using meter bridge. So before starting this experiment, let us understand its principle. So basically we have this circuit diagram of Wheatstone bridge and the basic principle of this experiment is that the galvanometer doesn't show any deflection when the value of resistances are in this particular ratio. So P divided by Q is equal to R divided by S. At this point it is called that the bridge is balanced and galvanometer doesn't show any reading. Now to implement this in reality we design this meter bridge. So in this case at one slot we are putting P at another slot we are inserting this resistance R when we acquire our stable point which we are going to discuss later in that case instead of Q we can write as sigma L and instead of S we can write as sigma 100 minus L sigma is the resistance per unit length of this wire and L is the length of the wire so altogether they make the resistance of this piece of wire and this part sigma into 100 minus L is the resistance of the other part of the wire from this expression we get the value of this unknown resistors R now let us start this experiment to conduct this experiment we need a regulated power supply a meter bridge a galvanometer a resistance box some connecting wires and a jockey and an unknown resistance and here is the circuit diagram we need to make to conduct this experiment so first of all we are going to connect the positive end of the DC power supply with the left end of the meter bridge and the negative of the DC regulated power supply is connected to the right end of the meter bridge and you can notice that in the circuit diagram the battery portion has been highlighted now in the next part we are going to take this resistance box and we are going to connect this at the place of resistor P so now we can apply any desirable resistance using this resistance box next thing in the second slot towards the right end we are going to place this unknown resistance and in the diagram you can look that P and R resistances has been highlighted now in the next step we will take this galvanometer and connect its one end to the middle of the copper strip and the other end of the galvanometer with the jockey now switch on the power supply and set it to 5 volt in case if you don't have regulated power supply in that case you can use a battery and a rheostat in series at this place and apply a suitable resistance P using this resistance box one thing you should take care that this resistance P should be comparable to this unknown resistance now we will place our jockey on this conducting wire which is attached with a meter scale on this bridge so as we touch this you will find that the galvanometer is showing a deflection in one direction now if we put it at another place at some place we can find that the deflection is towards the other side of the galvanometer so in this way we can interpret that there must be some point in between these two points where the galvanometer is not showing any reading we stop at that point and note down the length of the wire towards right and left terminal so we are stating this as L and 100 minus L because the total length of this wire is 100 centimeter so the second length we are taking is as 100 minus L so now after observing this we can again change the value of P and find out another stable point for this value of P after that we will make a table of it so in this case in first column we will write the value of P in next column we are going to write the value of L length which is the length of the wire from jockey to the left terminal of the meter bridge and 
the length of the wire towards right temp terminal can be calculated through 100 minus L and in the last column you can calculate the value of unknown resistance. So for four different values of P you will conduct the same experiment and get four values of R. So to increase the accuracy of our experiment finally we will calculate the mean of this. In this way you can find the value of an unrod resistance using meter bridge. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my videos. Have a good day.